So I bought a box at a yard sale for $8, and these are the two that I saw, and this is why I bought the box. The stuff looks pretty cool, and I may have seen this one. And Zone tro Troopers looks pretty cool, World War II guys. Uh, it looks like exploring a spaceship, according to the, uh, the trailer. And the stuff looks like some kind of yogurt that's, that comes alive. Pretty cool. So I got those. These are both uh, valuable. I think that one's like 30 to 40 bucks, something like that right now on eBay. Uh, that one's around 20, 10. I think there's one on there for $10 that sold and a couple for 20. So that's why I spent the $8 on the box of tapes. Now, these aren't moldy, and the ones I'm going to show you aren't moldy, but half the box I basically had to throw out because of the mold. Uh, so there's that. And so these tapes I'm, I've am i tried to sell on eBay but aren't selling. They're not really that valuable, so uh, I'm, I'm just outright going to give them away or just put them somewhere where somebody can take them. Uh, this one here, New Fist of Fury, is the sequel to Fist of Fury with Bruce Lee. This is also J uh, Jackie Chan's first starring role in a widely released film, according to, I think it was Wiki that said that. Uh, I'm getting rid of this one because I already have a copy, and this is a, uh, a cop that's poorly made video. Uh, it's hard to see what's going on, and uh, it's pretty common for t uh, Kung Fu movies uh, for the 70s uh, to get tapes that aren't very good quality. Um, yeah, so I'm getting rid of this one uh, because I already have a copy of it that's uh, low quality, and um, I don't. This I generally don't keep tapes that. Uh, don't have a cover to go along with them. I just don't like keeping just random tapes. So yeah, so uh, the cool thing about this, I've watched the end um, ending, and uh, that's what seems to be reviewers like about the movie, is the ending, or semi-like, and yeah, it's okay. Um, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a fight scene that does have Jackie Chan in it, and uh, it's it's okay for Jackie Chan. It's not too bad as far as entertainment-wise goes. And, uh, yeah. Uh, well, the, the whole movie itself, reviewers say, is kind of boring. And I actually haven't watched the whole thing yet. Uh, but I did skip to the end just because I was reading that the ending was worthwhile seeing. So, And I also tried the beginning. And uh, there was a fight scene with Jackie in the beginning. But it really, he was basically just got beat up. So it wasn't all that great. So, and then the next two films... Speed and Out of Sight. Uh, Keanu Reeves here with Speed uh, was a great movie to see in the theater when I when I did see it. Uh, you got to keep the bus over 50 miles an hour. Uh, and I think I've seen Out of Sight too. It's got uh, Jennifer Lopez in it and of course George Clooney. So pretty good film, both of them. Uh, I, I don't remember that much about Out of Sight, but I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Some kind of thief uh, film, I think. And, uh, yeah, they're both good movies, uh, but they don't sell all that well on eBay, I've noticed. Perhaps because they there are DVDs, Blu-rays, and such that are easy to come by and nobody wants the VHS. I'm getting rid of them because I already have copies on VHS. And, uh, and yeah, so I don't need multiple copies. VHS tapes take up a lot of space, so I'm... I want to get rid of these ones, and I can't sell them. I've tried to sell them on eBay, and no one's buying uh, buying them. I tried to sell them in a lot of four tapes. That didn't seem to work, so what I did was I had two lots uh, with four VHS tapes, and I went through and looked for the ones, uh, the, the tapes that did seem to be selling, and I'm, I'm uh, splitting the lots and uh, coming up with just one lot right now to put back on and to see if that lot will sell. I made a decision yesterday that I'm not going to sell anything on eBay that's uh, a f that's under $10 or under $9.99, uh, not including the shipping. 
Uh, it just, it's not worth my time. Uh, with the fees and everything, even at $10, I'm only making a $5, I think it's $5.35 profit. Uh, I, could low, I could make more if I used packaging that was cheaper, but I'd rather have good quality packing and uh, not be able to sell the cheaper products. Uh, just so I don't have to worry about bad feedback and uh, I'd just rather have it ship out and know that it's going to be fine. Uh, unless it gets completely wrecked by the post office, which in my and so far I haven't had too much uh, luck, bad luck with that yet so far. So yeah, um, so that's that. And the last two uh, here that I'm getting rid of is uh, Down with Love. It's uh, this is uh, Obi Wan here, and um, I, Ch Chicago. She uh, is what I remember her. And, um, and, um, yeah, so this is a rom-com and I don't collect romance, uh, that type of film. It's just not really that I'm interested in. I'm pretty sure that I've seen it anyways at some point. Uh, and, uh, reviewers I did look up the other day did talk about the, uh, the end scene, which I haven't watched yet, where they do some kind of musical Number, uh, I might end up watching that before I get rid of it, just to remind myself and see if I've actually seen it. Uh, Escape uh, from Silver Boar. Uh, I don't particularly want to keep too many uh, depressing, uh, violent films. And that one, Holocaust, is, yeah, I, there's only a few that I want to keep as far as classics. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be selling on eBay and uh, it's nothing in my that I want to keep in my collection uh, so yeah so I'm getting rid of that one and that's it so I, I started out I bought a box for eight dollars at a yard sale and uh, I've gotten a bunch more uh, tapes out of that as well but those two that I showed you are the ones that I thought were of particular interest I got a whole slew of other ones uh, varying in uh, in, uh, in value, but uh, yeah, I'm keeping those for now. So yeah.